Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible. Get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at audibletrial.com slash jumbled. They have over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, MP3 player, or Zune. Bill Gates thanks you. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Jumbled, your favorite podcast about nothing. My name is Zach. And I'm Johnny. Hey, Johnny. What's going on, man? Oh, you know, just just hanging out, staring at you, making funny faces while you do uh, the intro, trying to make you laugh. Almost yeah, got you. you. You almost did. You almost did. It brought me back to uh, to the good old college days where you would just sort of just be standing outside of my room sometimes. <laughs> just like knock on the door and just be there. This is like honestly trying your door combo, <laughs> dude. You knew the you knew the combo. Don't act like you didn't. I figured it out. <laughs> I, I was thinking about that the other day about door combos, and uh, I was like, "How did I have so many numbers memorized?" But now, like, I can't even remember my fiance's phone number. It's a hundred percent true. Like, I mean, probably because we used them all the time. But you know, without speed dial, I would be so hosed. Yeah, I um. I don't remember any any numbers besides for – it's really weird. I remembered my bank account number the other day, which is like the weirdest number that you could ever memorize because you never, ever need to know it unless you're like entering bills online, unless you're like just yeah. paying bills online. But I, it's like – I feel like I was doing that the other day and was like, I feel like I'm starting to to uh, to memorize this number, but I don't – that's a weird one, yeah. Yeah, it's – uh. It's strange. But anyway, we're back, guys. Welcome welcome back to the podcast. Johnny, how does it feel to uh to be in the intro, to be to be a co host of this podcast? Uh I mean, I'm a little nervous. Uh it's seeing the uh social media breaking about uh about Joe and people uh, obviously rightfully so upset that he's gone and big shoes to fill, but yeah. I think I think we'll be okay. We'll get through. We'll we'll do some things and I know you kinda mentioned that Joe might be making some guest appearances here and there, which could be cool. So we'll see, yeah. you know? Yeah, we'll see we'll see where he uh where he sort of falls on that if he if he wants to do something like that in the future. I left it open to him, so um you know, he's always welcome on the podcast, obviously uh you know he's the co-creator of the thing um so so he's always welcome but it's i was saying earlier to you it's sort of it's weird like it feels like um it feels like we're almost starting over with the podcast but but just like with an already set listenership <laughs> you know yeah. it's just like yeah. it's like if we had just like around 45 or 50 dedicated friends who we knew were always just going to be listening and we just started a podcast that's pretty much what it's like right now i mean i feel like that's not that far off than when when you guys first started jumbled because i mean everyone who likes you is pretty much listening to it now anyways right and i think I hope so. maybe 30 percent of those people also like me so that's not bad <laughs> it's you know the percentages are okay they're not bad johnny <laughs> Do we? Uh, you know what I, I like about the, the format of jumbled, and now that there's not an official fact checker, because I don't plan on fact checking myself, um, is that I feel like I can say anything now, and there's like, there's no uh, repercussions. <laughs> like I am going to be the smartest man in the world for this hour. Well, as you long know, as no one uses Google. You know, I I said Joe was out of the podcast, but he's actually our new fact checker. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> no, I'm not serious at all. <laughs> I'm not serious. Yeah. I am eating cereal though, so if there's some weird awkward pauses. Oh, that's it's all good. Uh speaking of awkward pauses, I wish you could see your video froze on uh on my screens and you just have the goofiest looking face right now. I'm <laughs> actually kind of tempted to take a picture and please do and send I'm, it to you. I'll probably I'll probably unfreeze the moment you go to snap the picture, but hey, it's all good. Yeah, I don't know, man. You've been you've been holding that freeze for quite some time. Oh, all right. Like well, basically when we started recording. <laughs> as long as the uh, as long as the audio is still coming through and you can hear me, it's all good. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm excited that you're uh, that you're on board here, Johnny. Thank you for stepping in. I know uh, you said it was big shoes for you to fill, but 
you know, I feel like uh, we know each other well enough where where it's a uh, it's a good it's a good mix here. I mean, I, I used to sing you lullabies every night before it's... bed, so like <laughs> that's true. Me and me and Johnny roomed. Uh, let's see, that would have been like twenty eight nine twenty nine two thousand nine. Yeah, 29. it was. Yeah, yep. Because I first year roomed with Joe. And then I had to room with another friend, JC. And <laughs> and then I, I don't even know if we got official like word that we could move. I just straight up moved out. Yeah, yeah that was that was second semester of my first year. It was it was strange because we uh we started move or he had his girlfriend over at the time. And JC played basketball. And so um, it was like the room smelled like just funk, just just socks, and and I think that was sort of like the tipping like college point. College boys in general. Like. Yeah, it was the tipping point, and I was like, ah, you know, Johnny's always buying those Glade plugins. I think I'm good. You know, let's make the swap. <laughs> that that was the uh, yeah, that was the moment there. It was all the Glade plugins and the fact that you, I think you just bought like uh an xbox or something like that and i didn't have one yet or something like there was some reason not just because of your money (laughs) not just because of your money but you know it was a determining factor that's all good it works out in the end (laughs) it did it did hey by the way sorry i haven't got my passport yet i know that's a that's Uh, a thing you're gonna you're gonna hearken on uh frequently in this podcast now now i have like an (laughs) hour-long soapbox to stand on Dude, just dude. To slowly, Willie. I, I I do want to bring in this like, what would Zach do for fifty yeah. dollars? Um, so if there's any like sponsors or listeners that that want to you know support this game, that we can get Zach to do something questionable every week for fifty dollars, and he can put it towards his uh, passport. You know, <laughs> message us on uh, social media, and we can see what we can get Zach doing. Yeah, you know, I uh, like I've said before, my my shame knows no ends. I I do not I do not care. Um, I and by the way, the thing that I said I would uh I would stop doing is using Google, but that was before I thought about it more. Man, you could not. Uh, yeah, I, you guys are crazy. Like <laughs> to not use Google. I yeah, know, we man. we said some. Uh, we said some strange things in our first 35 episodes. I'll, I'll say like, that for sure. Have you, have you looked at Bing? Like, have you tried to use Bing? Uh, you know, for a minute, there was like some sort of, like if you used Bing, Microsoft would pay you a certain amount of money for every, I don't even remember what it was, but like I tried like, there was an incentive to use Bing at one point and Just it was, not enough it, was a, it was a monetary incentive and it still did not uh bring me into the bing universe so i don't think there's anything that could bring me over but to answer your question uh recently no i have not binged anything so i work for uh, like i guess essentially the provincial government here um so our it is very strict so my first computer when i got this job was still uh, rocking windows xp (laughs) I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure my cell phone ha- had more computing power than my actual desktop. Wow! Um, and it was defaulted to um, to Internet Explorer, which is like a whole nother pain, dude. Awful. Um, and could only use Bing for some reason. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> so I literally had to use Bing for the first like four weeks until I got my computer upgraded. And I mean, I'm not like a huge like Google Chrome guy no. like i'm kind of more of an apple user so i like safari sure. um but i never thought i'd be so excited as i was to be able to get google chrome and have like an, a decent browser and use google instead of bing dude yeah because uh internet explorer is like super deprecated like they're they they stopped up even they stopped even updating it on windows 7 so it's like and i know you said you guys just rolled out windows 7 or something at your job yeah <laughs> But we, we just finished a Windows 10 rollout at mine, but um, but yeah, no, I I feel your pain every time somebody I go up to somebody's uh, cute their computer or whatever, and they're using Internet Explorer. I sort of have I sort of judge them a little bit, like I don't say anything, but it's just like you know, yeah, you know, obviously use something else because this is awful. 
Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I mean, I'm not a big PC fan in general, so that it was just it was a whole flurry of punches to my technology uh, ego. <laughs> and I, I mean, I survived. I, d- yeah. I dealt. Yeah. But... Hey, you know it is what it is. Well, <laughs> well, good on you for for sticking it out there with Bing for a while. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Though um, if I knew you could get paid, like I'm, I'm, in, I'm intrigued at what the uh, like the monetary incentive would be because like. Yeah, it would I'd have be... to be not a lot for I... it to be worthwhile to them. Uh, let me see what if I can find it. Uh, you to use Bing. Think, oh, that's something that someone... popped up in Google search. So <laughs> uh, Microsoft will pay you to use Bing is what I searched, and there, like that was half a cent a search or something. <laughs> so Fortune dot com actually says use bing search instead of uh instead and microsoft will pay you that's as of june 3rd of this year so it's pretty well, it's recent still yeah pretty recent still um and i think i tried to give it a shot like last year so it was even like something they were doing like a year ago and i just couldn't do it like i don't even know how much it is like it's probably like like portions of a of a cent for every search item or something like that but it's just like mm-hmm. i don't you think know. there's someone like just instead of like farming for cryptocurrency they're just set up random bing searches just running on their computer 24 <laughs> 7 just racking up those slivers of pennies every day dude that's the new that's the new thing um <laughs> Well, what? Farming yeah, Bing. <laughs> that's the new thing, man. That's you know what? I'm I'm now a full time podcaster, and I'm just gonna set up a bot to auto search Bing. <laughs> <laughs> just I don't, I don't even know. I just don't. That's <laughs> that's some desperation. Like that's how you know you cannot beat a company when you can't even pay people to use your product. That is not <laughs> that much different, but just enough different. Yeah, you know, Joe talked about, and I hate to bring Joe back up. Uh, I mean, I don't, but you know, um, I mean, he is pretty recent news. So anyway, he talked about Lycos a couple episodes ago, um, and Lycos is actually still a thing that you can use. I didn't know if you knew this, Johnny. No, you could still go online and use Lycos. So I went on, <laughs> I went on Lycos dot com, and I searched Google. And- <laughs> And it and it brought up no results. No, no way. That's yeah. that's got to be intentional. It had to be. But the thing was, like you, like you could search Yahoo. It didn't bring up results. You could search like um, uh, I forget what else. But then if you search Bing, it brought up Bing. Really? So like they're they're not they're. <laughs> They're so unconcerned with the amount of traffic that Bing is pulling through that they're willing to advertise <laughs> Bing. You know, uh, that's that's all. Bing is probably paying them to let that happen. Oh, 100 percent for the for the remaining dozen people that still use Lycos. You know, there's one dude out there that's like, eh, I really like Lycos. You know, yeah, it's gonna it, stick it, it out. works for him. He <laughs> only likes seeing 20 percent of the information that he's looking for. <laughs> Hey, I feel you know like that's probably being generous. <laughs> you know who uses it? Donald Trump. <laughs> that's how he gets all of his international news. Since he's only getting thirty percent of the news, he uses Lycos. Do you think? Do you think he gets like his very own printed uh, copy of the Onion every morning, and that's that's what he goes off of? God, he probably does. He's the worst. Okay, so I I just tweeted from the jumbled account like right before I got on the Skype call with you, and Donald Trump apparently this is like a day ago. So you might have seen this, Johnny, but like a day ago he was like, oh, I'm gonna read it when when my phone loads Twitter. Um, but you know he's always looking for ways to make a splash um, and to have his his name and face out in the middle of everywhere. Okay, so he said, why would Kim Jong-un insult me by calling me, quote-unquote, old, when I would never, in all caps, call him, quote-unquote, short and fat? Oh, well, I try so hard to be his friend, and maybe someday that will happen. That was a tweet that the President of the United States just sent a day ago. I, 
I think I saw that like very briefly skimming and I thought it was a joke, but it, uh, apparently it's real. And it's is... real. Yeah, I know. I think I've, I've said it before, at least to you guys and, and maybe during during a fact checking episode. But Donald Trump is literally the personification of all the American stereotypes. Like, yeah, it's yeah, that's it's, it. It's, it's it's pretty. Uh, I don't. I just. I just. I can't. I'm speechless. Honestly, I think a lot of the world is. Um, I, I, most of America is as well, Johnny. Uh, I mean, I don't know if you if you followed the. Uh, the election closely oh, I but, did I did quite closely but uh you know Hillary Clinton did win the popular vote for you know the the mass majority of Americans voted for Hillary Clinton but you know all that all that other shit the electoral college and and whatnot you know, had, yeah how, how do you feel about the electoral college I'm not a fan well I mean I understand the need for the electoral college to give to give smaller states equal power mm-hmm um, but I, I don't think, I think the main thing that we should be concerned with as Americans is gerrymandering. So, you know, just dividing, you know, voting lines up into weird, uh, you know, amoeba looking structures just based on voters. So you can win, you know, certain districts and, and they count yeah. those districts towards, you know, the overall win or whatever. So it's just like. You know, just divide my state or, you know, put a grid. You know, if you want to set 14 districts or whatever, divide my state up into 14 as equal as possible parts and then use that. Go with yeah. go with that. But that, that happens everywhere, though. Like that that same strategy happens even like in Canada and politics. And it's constantly a big a big thing that comes up. But I mean, at the end of the day, I think and again, not to like train wreck this podcast onto donald trump talk um <laughs> but uh i think you know the general message was that a lot of people in the u.s wanted someone different than a career politician i just think it was really unfortunate that donald trump was the one that stood up and said hey i'll be that person you know yeah um have you have you heard the stuff about like dwayne johnson looking at running and stuff i've heard i've heard and i don't know how how in favor I am of that anymore. I mean, you know, people have said for a long time, it's like, you know, uh, Washington needs something new. And while I agree with that, it's, I don't think it's going to come in the form of a, you know, a celebrity or, or a person or a billionaire, you know, who's run mm-hmm. companies. I just, I don't, I don't see that happening, you know, especially if they don't have any, uh, like a career in politics. Otherwise, it just doesn't make much sense to me anymore. Like I understood the draw for Donald Trump, but I would never have voted for him in a million years, just based on the person he is, you know? Yeah, absolutely. No, that's but where I, mean, I, that's where I am with it. I don't know. It could make for some really good video of like, you know, the rock people's elbowing people. <laughs> like, yeah. Do you smell what the president is cooking? <laughs> Come on, like the, the taglines would be endless, dude. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. It's sort of like you know Harry Truman's you know line was the buck stops here, you know. Yeah. But I, you know, there's got to be so many. It doesn't matter what your vote is, you know, or whatever, you know. <laughs> like there's got to be there's got to be something. Oh, I'd be so into it. I hope uh, I hope it happens. Just just because I like just want to keep watching the shit show you know yeah you know uh vice president got it got a, a vice president for the rock you ready for this kevin hart <laughs> so you got a little bitty kevin hart and the rock all right and they are they are in the news for all the right reasons uh are you sure about that <laughs> no i mean not right now kevin oh, hart's okay. not for sure well, that's okay. been a little removed it's been what a month since his whole scandal yeah, or something whatever. like that yeah. Uh, I think I think we're quickly learning that everyone in Hollywood are they're all mostly assholes. Like 99%. Yeah. percent. Yeah, there's um, there's definitely everybody's got their their facade up, you know, they're they're all they're all self-serving to a certain level and even if they say they aren't or if they're saying they're trying to do the right stuff, they're all trying to make money. Everybody's that's what try- it comes down to. Everybody's trying to make money. I mean, you know, it's not just they're they're people after all. You know, they're the same there's people 
who are in completely different scenarios who aren't making the money that they're making who are just doing the same shit mm -hmm. because they're humans you know it's yeah. just it's just human nature speaking of uh making money for 50 bucks <laughs> would you here we go first installment shave, shave the bowl haircut that you did when we were in uh in new orleans and rock that for a full week Ooh, a week oh my god um do i get to take like if if i took like uh pto from work and just and sat not, around not the house that would that no like if i just like did it and then just sat around my house does that count as well or like do i have to actually go house? out in public i mean i like the idea of you having to go out in public i don't know if i that means you have to go to work with it um i'd get but, fired so quick if they were you like all right fired over that i male pattern baldness out of nowhere <laughs> like i didn't lose my hair overnight like that's what not if something was some crazy accident you know you could say you were oh. lighting a candle and something happened and just poof yeah i was using my wife's shower for you know i'd rarely ever use that shower and i squeezed out the stuff in, in my hand i thought it was shampoo but it was nair so I actually have done that. Have you? Yeah, I was a little kid. My mom tells this story all the time. <laughs> that um, So when I was younger, uh, I really did not like showering. Um, <laughs> and though I still do it at least once a day now, mostly, yeah. um, sometimes twice, depending on what I'm doing, I still really do hate showering. Like, I don't know why. It just is, feels like it's such an effort to get done. Um, yeah. But yeah, I was a little kid. I was probably like, I think I was, she said I was like five or six and I took a shower and I didn't wash my hair. Like I didn't want to get my hair wet. <laughs> so I came out of the shower and my mom was mad at me because I didn't, you know, clean myself. Yeah. And she's like, fine, just go to bed. You can, you can go to school with messy hair or whatever. So then I felt bad and snuck back into the bathroom and Showered. tried to wash my hair, <laughs> um, but at this time, my mom had just used the, the shower because like, I was like faking going to sleep. Sure. And uh, she uh, neared her legs or whatever, and I didn't know, and she left it out. <laughs> so, so little John <laughs> walks into the shower trying to be like, I'll show you. And uh, I start, you know, showering and go to wash my hair. And, you know, I'm losing chunks of my hair, so I'm crying. Oh, Jesus. And, my mom comes in is like, what is happening? And starts like rinsing my hair out, trying to protect my eyes, obviously. And is just pulling out chunks and chunks and chunks of hair. Oh no. And, uh, she just, she was just laughing. She, she couldn't, couldn't keep a straight face on that. And I <laughs> had to go to school with like golf ball size patches of hair missing. Dude, if that's me, I am completely shaving my head. Like <laughs> I've said for a long time, it's never going to happen. Cause, um, you know, baldness does not run on my what is it? Your your mom's dad? Yeah, I have no that idea. it comes from. I think is that it's, stuff even true? Is that like a real thing? I think it is. It might not be. You know, maybe we'll ask our fact checker for next week. Uh, but uh, <laughs> do you have someone in mind? Someone going to step up? <laughs> what if Joe actually did step up? Oh no, my God. I I hope he does. That'd be amazing. That'd be funny. But I'm sure there's a loyal listener out there that, you know, is like me and is just trying to find a way to weasel onto the podcast permanently. <laughs> Great yeah. success. Yeah. <laughs> if you if you want to be our new fact checker, we are we are looking. Uh, I will say Johnny can attest we do pay handsomely. It's 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 lovely. It's a sweet gig. Um but it is vacant, so we, we do need that. Um getting back to showers, uh, I had something I was funny I was gonna say. I I was always I I love showering I, th I think it's great I stay in the shower for too long a lot of the time, but um, but I I've always been the clumsy kid so mm. growing up especially I I hadn't I was when the story happened I hadn't quite figured out how my body was working you know like I was like a if you had to equate me to something be like a like a baby horse or like a you know, like where my like Bambi on ice or yeah, what? just trying to figure out how my legs work and all that stuff. So I'm so we're having a family night um, around the TV, and then like my mom starts smelling. She's like, "What is that?" You know, obviously I'm like, you know, I'm a teenage boy at this point, thirteen maybe, and um, and she's like, "Oh, Zach, you smell. Go take a shower." I was like, "Okay." So I went in the shower. 
<laughs> and it was probably like five, ten minutes past. And then um, I remember this myself. I would have loved to have like been a fly on the wall, like watching my own life when this happened. But I like fell in the shower. But like on the way down, I grabbed. It was like one of those showers where like the sliding glass door is on a rail, you know that. Yeah. But the but the rail was not secured really to the wall. It was like sitting on some. It was sitting in a little bit, but. It, uh, but I went like on the way down, you know, as any person does, you just try to grab something on the way down. You just destroyed the shower, <laughs> didn't you? And I grabbed the shower and it just came apart in like three different pieces. Luckily, like none of the glass broke out of the doors, but it was loud as shit. And then like my mom came knocking on the door. She's like, you okay? I was like, yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm like trying to piece the shower back together. So <laughs> my shower ended up being probably 20 minutes or 25 minutes, you know, when it should have been 10 to 15 because I, was putting, mm. I didn't turn the water off for some stupid reason. Like I still had the water. <laughs> like most people would have just been like, oh, well, let's turn off the goddamn the water. Sound. Let's turn off the goddamn water, because that makes sense. No, but I didn't do that. So, hey, shower stories, right? Yeah, man. That's all good. You got any recent ones? Any, uh, any recent shower stories? I don't have. I don't think I have any recent ones. I, uh, I So, I, I enjoy showers more now, because I do, like, some stretches in the shower, which I think some people think is weird, but, like, the heat in the water. Sure. Um, and it's also a time, like, every day where I remind myself I need to do these stretches. Um, so the shower works. Yeah. Um, but, uh, do you ever do like things in the shower that you think most people don't do in the shower? Like brush your teeth or drink a beer or like, <laughs> eat your breakfast? You know, I don't do much, uh, aside from just washing my, you know, washing myself. But, um, I, I'm trying to think if there's any time I did anything really sort of strange, like peculiar, I don't, I mean, other than getting graphic, which I'm not going to do, you know, there's, there's not. <laughs> okay, Zach. <laughs> there's, I'm just not going to get into that, but uh, no, I don't, you know, I, I filed my taxes one time in the shower, but that was like, that was a one-time thing, you know? Oh, okay. Did you, uh, did you ever have one of those like radio showers? Remember when those were like really popular in like the nineties, oh. like put the radio, the waterproof radio? <laughs> I've never had one of those, but I they still make like the waterproof Bluetooth speaker things. Yeah, I'd really like to get one of those. So if any of our listeners have really? one or something, yeah, just because I like listening to the, to music in the shower. But my mm. my fan, uh, my exhaust fan in my bathroom doesn't really work. Oh, so that's I can't. Tough. Yeah, so I can't just like play music and you know, and feel comfortable about my electronics not getting water damage yeah so. that's fair i mean it's you know always a risk electricity yeah. and water and you're yeah. clearly clumsy a little bit so <laughs> a lot a lot of bit. <laughs> I, I don't know if i've talked about it i think i probably have i yeah i think i have i had a dog this is probably six six nine months ago something like that a year ago who knows i live in a time paradox but um, this dog was like digging in our backyard. And so I ran out to get to tell the dog to stop. But like, I missed the first step and I went falling down the step, my back stairs. Um, and like twisted my ankle in the process. So like there's, you know, I'm always looking to just completely wreck myself in some way, shape or form. Mm -hmm. Always looking for it. Um, Yeah. That just sort of adds to the chronicling of, of clumsiness for my life. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I we, all, we all have a thing, right? That's all we, good. We do. Um, I talked about last week um, uh, a separate podcast that was named very, very similarly to ours. Oh, yeah, um, I, meant, I was going to look that up, but I totally forgot. It's called Jumbled Cast. I think I called it Jumbled Pot or Jumble. It's called Jumble Cast without the D. Yeah, Jumble. But, yeah, that's right. Yeah, but it's uh, but their Twitter handle is Jumble Jumble Podcast, but it's like one letter different than ours. So you could easily get turned around. So I hope they haven't been like. I hope our listeners haven't been going to a, <laughs> that guy's Twitter and like 
trying to figure out what the hell's going on because nobody's posting because anything. never post episodes. <laughs> but um, I talked about uh, how he released his... He said, oh, I'm doing a podcast on April 26th. And I said we released on the same day. That's not necessarily true. We released... Well, it's not true at all. We released uh, on March 8th. But I... I I always look at the data for the podcast, and we switched over to a different feed service uh, on April 26th, so that's why I was confused. So uh, I just wanted to put that out in the atmosphere in case we have people fact-checking independently. I do I do know now. It's this guy in his basement building a case against at you um, <laughs> to take over all the listeners. Yeah, yeah, he's he's putting in weird passwords that he doesn't think anybody would be able or that nobody would ever use uh, in order to hack into our SoundCloud and take over the RSS feed. And, you know, that's it. I don't know. I've, I've seen some of the passwords for things that you use, and your uh, your password game is on point. Dude, yeah, I'm, I'm not messing around. Like, I'm, it's not... I almost feel like it's not even functional to a point. You know, it is functional because I know my password to my Gmail, and it's mm. also it's also really strong. But I can remember that one, and then I've shared the document with my Gmail account, so so yeah. I can always access the passwords. That's true. Um, it's probably really bad, and, I, and maybe I shouldn't be admitting this to the thousands of listeners that we have. Um, but uh, I have like three passwords that have a couple of variations, but like one, all of my email accounts have the same password. The other <laughs> one, all my bank accounts have the same password. Oh, dude! And then at the other one, all of uh, all of my work stuff has the same password. <laughs> all right, I don't know if we've said your last name before, but that might be something we want to go back through the podcast and scrub. <laughs> That uh, whatever, dude. That's uh, that's some pretty low security you got, you're rocking there. You just not care. Uh, I mean, I have like memory issues. So, do you know how many times I have to call my bank and being like, "Oh, I, I forgot my password again," um, <laughs> and I just get really tired of having to do that. So, <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. That's plus, fair. like at work, we have to update our password every three months. I think it is now. Mm. Um. So I, I literally, it's like the same eight digits, letters, numbers, signs, and then I just change a couple numbers at the very end. You know, that's how most people do it. Like they, yeah. they have like their main part of their password and then they just like have a number and the number keeps getting bigger, you know, one number bigger, one number bigger yeah. every time they have to change their password. So I, uh. I used to do it like I'd be like blah 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 zero one and then zero two zero three right. But then I was starting to forget like where I was and which one I used. So now I just do it on the month. So whatever month it is, oh, yeah, that's what I do. I think that I think that's kind of crafty. That's I not mean, bad, it's not man. like it's not like it's like A B C D password. Like sure, there's some uppercase and lowercase. Yeah. Yeah, so it's not like it's not like you're using like uh, like password or you know no or my last name or anything. I think there was a a study that was done recently, and I forget exactly who did the study, but uh, they determined that the most used password is actually just password. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Yeah, people are lazy, and I think you'll see. Uh, with well, security is already a big issue, but I don't think many. <laughs> many more people are going to be just using password. As a matter of fact, they say like um, the most secure thing that you can use is like a passphrase. So it's just like, uh, you know, instead of instead of just one word or numbers or uppercase or symbols or whatever, just like a sentence that you can remember that, n that not many people would, would try to guess. That's kind of smart. I don't think I would ever... Do people like hack into computers now with a password? Like I feel like that... It's like such an old idea that like keyloggers now, it doesn't matter what your password is. They're going to get it. Yeah. I mean, it's going to so it, like it, you're basically it, trying to stop like your kids or like a coworker from logging into your computer. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I mean, the, the longer you make the password, the harder it is to to determine, you know, and while a, a keylogger might be able to eventually find out what that password is. 
a lot of times like hackers are going to if if they have to devote too much time to trying to crack a code, they're just going to move on to the next. They're not going to spend Yeah, I guess. They're not going to spend time trying to hack into somebody's uh, account if they can't relatively quickly find out what the mm. password is. Uh, ooh, I have a $50 question for you. Ooh, okay. For $50, would you let me set all of your passwords? <laughs> I don't need to know for what your accounts. I'll just give you a list of passwords. Oh, man. Okay. Um, <laughs> like, how many passwords are we talking? Are we talking three passwords and I get to use them wherever? Yeah. <laughs> Oh god! I want one I'd to have... be like your your desktop computer at work, so you have to use it like multiple times a day. <laughs> so, like, obviously, you're not like your bank passwords or anything, but just those regular ones that you're going to use. Yeah, for well, for how long? How long do I have to use them? Uh, I don't know. I feel like that one's like low impact socially, so it'd have to go for a while. Okay, so I have to use like that password or a variation of that password for like a year or something like that. Yeah, a year works. You, you agree okay. to that? Because I was thinking like three months, but a year. I'm in for a year. <laughs> um, oh gosh, I, I think I overshot. I think a year is probably might be too much. Um, no, you're committed now. <laughs> <laughs> well, then uh, I would probably bow out if it was a year. I'd really? probably say no. Nah. Well, just because, like I said, you know, people are always looking to hack into your shit. You know, I mean, and... I'm not saying that it's going to be a simple password. It could be like 30 digits. I just want to make funny phrases that you have to type in all the time as well. Oh God. Um. Well, hmm, I'm trying to think of like what I would regularly use because I've set up. I have a Surface Pro 4 for my work computer, and so mm. it's got the IR camera, so it just signs me in with Does my your face. face. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know where I would regularly even type in a password. Um might be on my, how, my Gmail or something like that, but How do you feel about that like facial recognition technology on your phone? Um I feel like it it still needs to be proven effective. I, I feel like it's so new that that it still has like people need to test it out more yeah. before before I feel super comfortable with it. But I don't know. I feel like it's, you know, it's the future, you know. Have you, have you seen, the, have, you, have you held the new uh, iPhone 10 X, whatever? Yeah, I went to, um, I went to Best Buy the other day to buy this webcam that I'm talking to you on. And mm. obviously they have their, uh, they, they have their Apple set up and all that stuff. So mm -hmm. they had the iPhone 10 there and I got to hold it for a second and it was actually, it was pretty cool. It was, it was weird handling a phone without a without a home button that's exactly how i felt i i went and tried it out a couple of days ago because i'm gonna get one in the new year yeah. and uh i just like instinctively kept going to the home button and i felt so so lost because i've basically been using an iphone since the first iphone came out yeah which i don't know if that's something i to be proud of or not like mm -hmm. sometimes i think about going to another phone no, i was like no can't do it even though these are like they're so so overpriced but yeah. uh my know. iphone's my iphone's a beast i don't know if you uh, am i still frozen by the way no you uh you're you, you've, you've come out of uh oh, okay. the freezer a couple oh. times and have gone back in but you're you're live right now oh, so okay, this cool. is nice my phone is uh it's a six plus um, look at this bad boy Ooh, what is that the uh 4s no it's the se oh it's a se I was like, holy shit, man, you've been rocking a fucking dinosaur for five years. This thing is a years. tank, though. Yeah, is it as tanky as those Nokia phones? <laughs> what was the one that we had? Was it Joe's phone? I the... think, I think, no, it was like, um, it was like Brent's. It was like Brent's phone or something it's like that, wasn't it? Just whipping it at the wall and that thing would still turn on. <laughs> like, as hard as we could, throwing it at the plaster walls and and the thing never broke. They just like don't it, make them like they used to, you know. Yeah, I'm like no joke. I'm I baseball pitched that thing out of wall, with permission. Yeah, yeah, obviously. Um, and and uh, it it held up just fine. You know, I've only broken one iPhone in the like ten years that I've had them. Yeah. And I, I I've dropped them in the toilet. I spilled beer on them. <laughs> um, I, I mean I've 
dropped him numerous times from heights mm. that should have died. And yeah. uh, I've I apparently I've just been getting like the best iPhones ever. <laughs> Stop. Let's talk for a second about our sponsor today, Audible. Head over to audibletrial.com slash jumbled and get a free 30-day trial and a free audiobook. The book that I'm recommending for the month of November is We Are Legion, We Are Bob. It's book one in a series of three books known as the bob verse It's written by Dennis Taylor, narrated by Ray Porter. It's got a running time of 9 hours and 30 minutes. Basically, the book is about a gentleman who sold his software company and he crosses the street and ends up getting killed. Wakes up a century later, finds he has no rights, he's been turned into uh, artificial intelligence, he's been put into a probe, and uh, yeah, it looks pretty interesting. Again, um, this is a series of three books, so we are going to cover November, December, and January for the Bobiverse. So if that sounds like something that you would like to listen to, a little bit of ear candy, head over to Audible Trial dot com slash jumbled hey get that free 30 day trial you're welcome i uh i have this this my six plus is like it's tanky but it's like uh it's starting to it's starting to die like it's it's in its last stages i tried to take it apart a few months back well i didn't try i did successfully take it back but you know with the six and the six plus they had that what they called ben gate whereas like the phone bent easily yeah yeah yeah. and it's bent around so much that when i took it apart something must have jostled loose inside and now my home button doesn't work so i've been i've been dealing with that home button but i just have to use that uh what's it called assistive touch yeah i hated that thing yeah it's not fun but i've been having to use that and then uh the other day my phone just shut off it was like 32 percent battery it said it still had and they just shut off and then, uh, yeah, and that's rough. Know, it is rough. And then one of the screws in the bottom of my iPhone, when I took it apart, uh, I dropped it and it got lost. So Gone there's forever. A, there's only one screw in there now, and it's it's all it's dying. the the mute uh, The mute switch doesn't work half the time. So unless Man, it's that's like a rough rough yeah, phone. Yeah, it is a rough phone. I can't really do much. But with assistive touch, you know, at least I can through the software mute the phone and stuff like that. But Yeah. So so you know that like you're now never allowed to get a new phone until you get a passport, right? <laughs> That's the thing, yeah. I mean <laughs> of course. Well, I can't aff- like like you said, I would never want to switch over to a new phone, like or to a different kind of phone. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and I'm not I'm not the kind of guy who would settle for the eight plus, you know. Like, I if I'm gonna go for a phone, like I want the newest thing, you yeah. know. So I've, that, so I I will say, aside from the first iPhone, I've never had like the fall release phone. I'm always like a generation or a half generation behind because I'm mm. frugal like that. Mm-hmm. Um, so this one with the ten, I was like, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get the new one, and then I saw how much they were, and I was like, ah. Uh... Maybe I'll wait. See, yeah. see if they go on sale. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, they make them, you know, where you can do the payments and stuff like that now. But it's still like, it's still fuck. It's just nuts. Yeah, like, they're like, they're like 1500 bucks in Canada. Ooh. Yeah. That's not messing around, man. They're a thousand dollars. Yeah. It's in the States. So it's pretty nuts. So, yeah. I I definitely wasn't first in line, obviously, to buy the thing, um, but that will be the next phone. Either that or if I can't get one this year, it'll be, I'll nurse this 6 Plus along <laughs> until the, whatever they call the next phone. W- w- you ever think about that? What are they going to call the next iPhone? Because they've... X- com- XI? Well, they, they're that's going to go Roman numerals or something. <laughs> they've completely, they've completely gotten rid of the naming structure. You know, like what are they? I mean, the next one, like if they stick with the the mid year models, what were the S models? So it could is it the iPhone XS? I mean that I don't. I think that makes sense. I imagine that's what they'll do. But uh, I mean, I don't know. What do you think? Went like Microsoft did the same thing. Because yeah. they have like Windows XP. That's true. They Windows skipped nine. 7. 
Well, yeah, yeah. But I think the seven was the version, right? So like they were version seven of Windows at that point. Yeah. So they called it Windows Seven, and then there was Windows Eight, and then I think they determined that eight point one was different enough that they just it was pretty much version nine, and then they went ten. Huh. There's so many versions that I didn't even know existed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there. Because I they're, never uh, use a PC. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, it's all good. It's all good. Although, I'm using I will a PC. say, I uh, I built I built Al a computer a couple weeks ago, a yeah. PC because she per- likes PC gaming. Sure. Um, and she was actually rocking the iMac that I bought my second year of university in like oh, 2009 wow. that I bought with Joe when Joe and I bought the yeah. same computers. Yeah. Um. So she's still been using that thing, and uh, it was slowly kind of just not functioning for her. Yeah. Um, and I built her a PC and was like, this is kind of fun. I kind of like doing this. And then yeah. I, you know, was using it and was like, but it's still a PC. <laughs> yeah, I can't get over that. It's not Linux-based. I can't jump on board. Yeah. Um, but it has some cool flashing lights in it that I'm staring at right now. Being like, yeah. are you overheating? How are you doing? <laughs> Turn you on. What's going on? Um, but uh, but yeah, you know. So I was just thinking we uh, we we set kind of a small plan for uh, this podcast, and uh, we definitely jumbled the shit out of it, and are you know now like hey, forty minutes in and talking about the most random stuff ever. Well, welcome to the podcast. You know, I mean, this is. <laughs> <laughs> this is jumbled like honestly this is it just and that's that's the thing that i i really enjoyed about or enjoy still about doing the podcast is it's just like it feels it's just a conversation you know what i'm saying it's like a conversation mm-hmm. like half the time like unless i had aud- audacity minimized right now i wouldn't know that i'm recording like that's that's how i want it to come across you know where i'm just having a conversation yeah so, no i agree i i like i like the format and i think I I mean, as a listener, I enjoyed it, and I imagine other listeners do too. Um, so yeah, we had that listen. Uh, we have a listener that uh, commented on our Instagram post uh, that was that was pretty wrecked, we all torn up about Joe leaving. But you oh know. yeah, but uh, you know, I, I think I, I think Johnny is uh, he's proving himself worthy. <laughs> Did you and, uh, uh, did you have some questions? We were we talked about doing like a, an know, intro to Johnny, and which we we kind of did. Uh, about, we met in university. I sung you yeah. lullabies. Um, yeah, used to you, kick you in your sleep. Yeah, you know, you talked about showering and and washing your hair with Nair, and we've we've all learned a little bit about you. But um, I don't know. I, I think mostly what I was just sort of wanting to get at was just how you're feeling about you know. Uh, being part of the podcast i know you've been a part of the podcast for what what time what, do you know what episode it was that we started it was like 16 uh, or something like that I, nah yeah maybe it was because i was sending you guys texts for a while right and just saying hey you were wrong about this and then i think some like you or joe made a joke about sending notes and then i actually did it yeah <laughs> and, and then you guys were like these are way too long and I was like, you know, oh, I'm sorry, I'm trying to educate you. I was I was really hoping you were you were catching on to the sarcasm that I was laying on because <laughs> I really I I don't I didn't I did not care how long you you're it was just so flu- like it, it fluctuated a lot. So like from one week it would be like, you know, four or five minutes, the next week it was like nine minutes and then <laughs> You know, it was like, you know, I mean, it, it was, it really was determined by, by you guys. Right. So yeah. How off the rails we went. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, but yeah, so yeah, it was probably, I started recording around 16 or so. I mean, we could look, probably yeah. look into it. Yeah. Um, you know, obviously inconsistently at times between d- recording on my phone in my bedroom or in the <laughs> office or in, at my, in my office at, at work, even in the morning. <laughs> Wow. Just whenever I could find time to like actually sit down and, and go through it. And plus, you know, we, we have uh, two dogs. Mm-hmm. Um, one's a year and a half and the other one's 11 weeks and they're pretty rambunctious. So um, finding time to their quiet time, even I'm hoping that you haven't heard them at all. You know, Al's been trying to keep them quiet 
Um, so sometimes it was like, well, I could just do this from work real fast and it's all good. So yeah, but bust it out real quick. Um, I just, you know, shut my door and everyone thought I was doing an important phone call. There you go. Yeah. And it was, yeah, I mean, let's get, let's get it straight. It it was important. The most important thing I was doing on a Tuesday (laughs) morning, you know? Yeah. Cause they always did roll in, roll in right at the last minute. Um, (laughs) no, uh, early on you were sending, when you were sending the notes, they were getting there like Wednesday afternoon, Thursday. And then I think you got a little bit busier. So. Yeah, I got a lot while well, we moved and, and whatnot, started a new job. And I got into the really good habit where I was getting some desk time Wednesday afternoon. So I would be doing work at my desk instead of being out in meetings. And yeah. I would listen to the podcast and I would just do the notes. Um, but once my schedule got a little bit more crazy, it was just really hard to get through the podcast. And for a while, I was trying to do it in the car. And I was yeah. trying to write down like time signatures or thoughts. And then I was forgetting what I wanted to talk about. Um, so it was just easier just to, to sit down and and listen to it like completely and then take notes while I was going. Absolutely. Absolutely. I can understand that. I mean, if I had to listen to myself talk for, you know, I voluntarily do every week. I listen to the podcast, but, um, do you, so I, I go back through, listen to the podcast. I always skip through my part. Do you? I, and I, I feel like, like the, the big loss here, aside from from you getting to hang out with Joe uh, for the podcast, is that I probably won't listen to this podcast anymore because I'm going to be too <laughs> self conscious or critical of my voice or what I say. Uh, it's it's all good, man. No, you don't have to listen to the to the thing. Um, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, Joe. Joe, I don't think uh, he said he didn't listen. I know he was listening, but. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll i'll poke poke fun at him here hopefully he picks up the slack for you know he, he's got to listen double time now is what i'm saying basically double time yeah absolutely. he's got he's got to double time it up one one thing i did have a uh, question for you um what are you most excited about when it comes to the podcast to be to being part of the podcast um i mean getting to talk to you every week oh hey Aww. man that's that's sweet dude I mean, I mean, I actually, that was one of the reasons why I was I was really stoked when you guys first started doing the podcast because obviously we were all really close in university, and then me living in a different country makes it challenging. But I, it was like a fun way to me to like, I guess, imagine like we were all just hanging out in a room because, like you said, the conversations of the podcast are pretty pretty relaxed, and it is a conversation basically. Yeah. Um, so it just made me feel like oh. Like we're hanging out, even though I can't talk to you and then, you know, slowly kind of wiggle my way in there. And it just got us to, you know, get back into regular communication, which is pretty sweet. So, yeah, man, I, I agree. It's uh, it has been a little bit, uh, you know, like you said, living in separate areas and you, you got all your stuff going on. And you're I'm sure at this point starting to get into if you haven't already. I don't know if Ali's doing most of it, but doing all the. uh wedding planning and stuff like that so that'll yeah. probably that'll probably be taking a big chunk of your time here pretty soon i would think speaking of like look we have all of these save the dates that we were supposed to send out th- four months ago <laughs> you still haven't sent them yeah i do and actually oh hey it's me oh hey yeah you underlined where you put a k on my name <laughs> how freaking awesome is that why you asked for my uh is that yeah, why you asked a, for my address yeah that's why that okay. and i'm gonna sign you up for uh there's this like website that you if you don't like someone you put their address on and they just send you random boxes of uh like animal dung um, oh okay i thought you were gonna sign me up for another prophet peter popoff sort of uh religious sort of <laughs> thing like joe did <laughs> no that, don't that do that a pretty please. good one um yeah. But no, no, it's it's to send out the uh, save the dates that are nice, man. way overdue. Um, at this point, they're slowly turning into invitations. So, you know. <laughs> nice. Yeah, just just stuff it all. <laughs> just put it all in one. Good to go. Exactly. Um, yeah, no, wedding planning is going pretty good. Uh, it, it's I think we got a lot of the hard stuff done. Um, and me being kind of the stereotypical man, I don't really care about the details of the wedding. Yeah. Um, and Ali being an engineer and pretty practical is not that into it either. Um, 
Okay. So, so when, when basically when we talked about getting married, I was like, I do not want to be fighting with you for a year over like linens or flowers or colors or whatever. I was like, I don't think it shouldn't be a stressful thing. Right. Um, so we said, you know, what are our priorities for the wedding? And it was to have a venue big enough that we can invite all the people that we want to be there. Um, we want an open bar and we want a really good live band. Um, and you know, we said, if those things happen, then it's going to be a good time. And if, if someone's upset that they don't have like a super fancy tabletop centerpiece thing or whatever, then you know what? That's too bad. Yeah, dude. I, it, it should totally just 100%. 100 percent be uh what you're comfortable with you know and and i think that's the smart thing too is like you're the practicality for both you guys is also saving you guys money you know what i'm saying like the i forget Mm -hmm. what i mean maybe but like the and maybe you're just going crazy maybe you got like uh kanye west or something coming for the (laughs) live band but like not quite but that would be pretty sweet that would Uh, be sweet I, so Ali's favorite band is Weezer, and I actually was like looking into what it, um, what it would cost to get Rivers to come and do like our first our first dance song, dude. Um, but I told I like jokingly told Ali that, and then she was like, "Don't do that because it would I would be too distracted." <laughs> I was like, oh. "So you're like, uh, let me just go ahead and delete that draft email that I <laughs> had." And, uh... <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong; it's still going to be a nice wedding. We're doing it at the zoo here. Um, so the, the, uh, ceremony is outside, the reception will be inside and the venue actually takes care of a lot of the decorations and the linens and stuff. It, they have a very simple, like you can do white or ivory or black or like blue yeah. or something. And we're like, okay, cool. White, easy. Um, yeah. so it's pretty, we're just not, you know, not going to put a lot of effort and stress into those things. Cause we have sure. a million other things going on, but yeah. I agree. Yeah, I mean that's uh I think I think the less stress you can put into planning at all is just going to be it, you're going to be able to enjoy everything, you know, much more than if you were micromanaging the situation and wondering if oh well did all of our centerpieces get here or is one fucked up or you know like mm-hmm. our, for me and Stephanie our wedding we had uh our cake we got it from some i don't i don't even remember i think the place was called the cake pan or something like that which we should have just known from the get-go that we probably gonna, weren't going to get the best cake from a place called the cake pan <laughs> but <laughs> like the cake when we got it was already starting to fall over oh geez so like we had to like do disaster control like on the cake and like just get it to the point where we could make the first or to cut our piece and, and then, then be done with it. And then just be done. Yeah, we didn't even box it up. I think we just ditched it. Like we just completely got rid of it. Like Yeah, we're not getting a cake for that reason. And you're not you're actually not the first person I've heard say that story about they get a cake and the like some one of our friends, I can't remember who, they got married, they got a cake, and the baker dropped it. <laughs> so they just like couldn't produce a cake. So they ended up just getting a cake from like Costco or something. Like a sheet um, cake. Yeah, just a big sheet oh cake. My God, dude! And but the but the the baker still charged him for the cake and stuff. No like it, shit, it's just a debacle. Um, so so we're not we're gonna have like cupcakes. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm not really a cake person. I much prefer pie. So I'd I'd be really into like a a really nice like wedding pie. Um, but we'll we'll see if I can wiggle that in there. Um, I was gonna make I was gonna make a pie joke, but you know. Uh... <laughs> Keeping it PG, sort of. No, um, I was gonna say there will be pie of a different sort <laughs> at a later point, uh, and some, you know, that at that point. But uh, yeah, you know. Yeah. Anyway. Um. So I will say the only thing that I'm a little bit disappointed in in our wedding, even though it hasn't happened yet, is I mean, you know me, you know I love my McDonald's, like that is mm-hmm. like my go-to, and I always said that if I got married, I wanted it to be catered by McDonald's. Um, <laughs> you're telling me you wouldn't be stoked on that? Um, I don't know, man. That might be a little extra. I don't know. So, anyways, the is Ronald McDonald got... is Ronald McDonald like the uh, uh, what do you call it? The efficient? God, that'd your... be amazing. Um, uh, yeah, Ali probably would just leave me. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and I'm way too invested into that one. Um, so, so obviously, Allie was like, "No, we're not having our wedding catered by McDonald's, but you can of use course. them as as our evening snack." And I was like, "Oh, okay, that's that's pretty sweet." Because you know, people usually get like pizza or whatever. Yeah. And I was like, "Well, that you know, just order like 600 cheeseburgers and uh, go to town." Um, and then apologize to our vegetarian guests, but too bad. Um, yeah, you. I'll. I will eat your burger that was yeah, dedicated happily. to you. I will eat that. So, anyways, our our venue we can't bring outside food. So, oh, shit, but they're like, dude. but we have like sliders that you can do. I was like, it's not the same. She's like, I know, but they're probably better. And I was like, it's still not the same. Like, we're not talking quality here. Like, obviously, if you want quality, you can produce a bit a better burger than McDonald's. Yeah, I'm talking about guilty pleasure. <laughs> we all want to feel like shit at the end of the night. What is the quickest way to do that? Oh, I don't know. Maybe about a, I don't know, four or five ounces of trans fat. Let's get <laughs> do, that. Do you do you have a uh, a regular like fast food order? Like I get basically the same yes. thing every time I go to McDonald's. All right, do you want to you want to say it on three? No, I want. <laughs> I just want to hear yours and take it in. Okay, I always just get the uh, at McDonald's. I always just get the double quarter, uh, double quarter pounder uh, meal, and I get. Uh, I don't like pickles, so I go no pickles, large size it with a uh, Coke because I like. So there's something about McDonald's Coke. I don't know what it is. Do you get regular Coke, Coke Zero, Diet Coke? No, I don't stick to the Zeros or the Diets. I just go rigs. Yeah, okay. The yeah. Coke heavy. I like it. Yes. What about you? What do you that's get? That's it? That Oh, man. I, I feel like I shouldn't share mine because that's kind of embarrassing. Oh, that's now. all. Well, my, my little belly. I don't know what it is, man. Like, I... I want to eat all the food in the world, but I just can't, you know, like mm. I can't even force myself to overeat too much. I don't know what yeah. it is. You you can just say like the first part or maybe you can just no, lie. I'll, 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 just, I'll say it all. You I can don't. just lie, Johnny. I'm not even going to lie because fact checker, you look into me, everyone will know what I get. Um, so <laughs> they got receipts. They just been <laughs> following you around. <laughs> so I get, I always get double quarter pounder with cheese. Mm-hmm. bacon super size because i love the fry uh, and i always go diet coke because i am watching my figure um but then <laughs> i get a mcchicken okay and then i get two mcdoubles okay um and then sometimes maybe i, I get one mcdouble and i get a filet of fish um and then what i do is i take the chicken patty out of the mcchicken and i put it into the mcdouble or into the qu- double quarter pounder and i eat that and it's amazing. Um, and then with that McChicken bun and the mayo and the lettuce, I put fries into that and make like a fry burger. Um, and then I eat that. And then I clean up with the, you know, the McDoubles and the rest of the fries <laughs> and my <laughs> giant Diet Coke. And that, so... and that is like literally just my standard McDonald's meal. That's not even me being like, I'm going to binge at McDonald's. <laughs> That's so much. That one took like four times as long to to say what you get at McDonald's. It's, literally, there's a process, and like if I get the fillet of fish, then I do the land sea air burger, and I put like the fish patty <laughs> and the chicken patty into the double quarter pounder, and the land sea and air burger. Yeah, man, you gotta cover your bases. Um, but yeah, I, I eat it like literally in the exact same process all the time. I don't stray, and it's just like this. I don't know, religious uh, experience for me, I guess. I don't yeah. know. I like how you looked at me like there, like you were expecting so much more food to, to be <laughs> talked about. And I didn't realize, like, I was like, yeah, you know, that's a pretty decent amount of food. And then you said yours, and, and I understand now why you were looking at me. <laughs> you got, the... like, the regular meal that, like, 80% of Americans get every day at, at McDonald's, you know? You know, like, something have you I... seen Super Size Me? That's, like, the Super Size Meal. Yeah, do they still, by the way, you said supersize. Do they still supersize it in Canada, or is it called large size? Uh, I don't I don't know. I always say supersize it. Um, I will say, though, like, American portions, at, at least from drinks and sometimes fries, are, like, way bigger than, than Canadians. Yeah, so give me some credit here. I'm eating, I'm eating, like, five times as many French fries as you are, all right? No, I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> I think at the end of the day, like... 
the the largest size are still the same, but like your guys's mediums are like are yeah, like your guys's mediums are just massive. Really compared to what to compared to what we get. Hmm. Um I mean maybe not necessarily at McDonald's, but definitely at some other restaurants you go to and it's just like what is happening here. Yeah. Um hmm. which I love cuz I'm a big eater, cuz I'm a big guy. Sure. Um so, but you know, when I take itty bitty alley and she's like this is just obscene and then i'm like leftovers <laughs> she's like i'll take a mcdouble and that's it like no you're getting those fries i'm gonna eat them <laughs> don't be silly so we, we actually have a rule in our house um because i'm like a obsessive eater um is that an alley never finishes her meal and she always brings mm-hmm. leftovers home yeah and uh she never eats them but i'm not allowed to eat them and I really hate wasting food because I, I like if she brings home like a good burger or something and only ate half of it, like my mind will fixate on that burger, like like I'm a dog. Um, so so we you, have the twenty. So you Go can't ahead. you can't eat the food, but she's not going to eat the food. Yeah, basically, because she's like, oh, I'm going to eat it, but then she'll forget about it or doesn't want to eat leftovers, wants to eat something else, and then like four days goes by and it's bad. Um, so I've implemented the twenty four hour rule. Um, in that any leftover she brings home, I will not touch for 24 hours, but after yeah. 24 hours I can eat and she cannot get mad at me for it. Fair game. Um, and except the exception to this rule is if I carry it out of the restaurant, it's mine. Mm. Oh, okay. So, uh, yeah, I like it. I like it. So she has to carry, if she has leftovers, she has to carry it herself. Otherwise it's yours. Exactly. Oh, Okay. What if you're being so? So there's no like you're not being a gentleman by carrying her uh, food. You're just carrying I her mean, food just so you can eat it later. Basically, yeah. Because <laughs> I know, like, she maybe eats ten percent of her leftovers. Oh, okay, well, that makes sense. And so usually, you, she wants to eat it at that twenty fifth hour, and by then, it's already gone. It's a fiscal thing at that point. You know, you're just you're like, you know what? I spent I spent way too much money on this for oh, it to just sit. Again, coming back to me being frugal, like, don't get me wrong. I spend money on probably some questionable and dumb things. Um, but like, I just really don't like wasting food. Yeah. So, and yeah, it's like, we go to this restaurant, we buy this fancy meal, you eat half of it. That's fine. Like you're tiny and it's a big meal. I was like, but it, I'm not going to throw that away. No, that's a great snack or like a pre-dinner snack, you know? <laughs> yeah, dude, I get it. <laughs> um going uh you know we talked about what you're excited for the podcast this is like going back 20 minutes uh yeah. i don't know how we just circled back around do you have any apprehensions um coming into the podcast not being good enough not being or, good or talking enough. about my mcdonald's obsession and you being like oh my god what did i do i am not no i'm not <laughs> judging at all our our listeners are judging and they will let us know about it uh, at Jumbled Podcast on all social media. But um, but you know what? Talk about your McDonald's all you like, dude. That's that's one hundred percent fine. So um, McDonald's sponsor us. I'll wear your shirts. I'll eat your food. He's loving you know, it. He's loving I'm, I'm, it. Absolutely. I'm loving it. <laughs> I actually uh, get it everywhere I go, man. Just it's any any new country I go to. First stop, McDonald's. <laughs> So uh, I think the last couple things I wanted to talk about. We've been going for over an hour, man. This is this is much easier podcasting this way than it was last week. Man, like I you're said, brave to take on doing a, uh, a a solo podcast is not easy, and I think you did a pretty good job, especially you know with the notice that you had and the preparation that you could do. Like, sure, that, I went in with moment. like I went in with like three or four like different talking points because I just knew like we've covered on my, on my topics, we've covered maybe about three or four things Mm -hmm. and we're already over an hour, you know? So I knew that it was only, you know, if, if I had those three or four talking points to bounce off of whoever was, I was co-hosting with that I would be, we'd be able to make up that hour. No problem. But, you blow through them so much quicker because you don't have any, there's no banter at that yeah. point, you know? So, and you can't, and you can't just fly off into a tangent like 
like I always have with this podcast. So I have a couple more things. Okay, good, because I, I actually felt like I was on a cliffhanger of like, I need to know what these things are before this episode's <laughs> over. Yeah. Um, well, it's hearkening back to our days at, uh, at Graceland. Um, so uh, I think we've talked about it before. Johnny and I were, and Joe, we're all, all in the same what was called a house, which is basically just a floor of a residence hall. Um, but, uh, you know, and I was house president and Johnny was house president and Joe was house president, but not in that order. But, um, you know, you have to plan things around house meeting. And so a tradition for our house, Orion was wrestling. So we always, (laughs) so there's always house, there's always house wrestling. Um, and it would pop up at various times at various places or points or whatever. It wasn't like a scheduled thing every week you would do wrestling, but we decided one week and I don't know, I think it was during, I can't remember whose HP year it was. It's one of the three of us. But me and Jordan did some wrestling. Do you recall that? You and Jordan wrestling? Yeah. You got to give me some more specifics. Okay, so me and Jordan were wrestling, and then uh, I got him in a rear naked, and I made him pass out. Oh, yes, yes, I remember, because Jordan is very stubborn. (laughs) That's the only time. I don't know how many times you've made somebody pass out. I, I can't speak for you. I've only... Pa- made one person pass out and it was that time i do remember um, that now you were pretty shaken by that i was shaken and he was bleeding from the nose so it was yeah. like he was snoring like you guys like pushed me he you like pushed me off of him when he was snoring i did i thought he was just trying to get air or whatever <laughs> but <laughs> he's, well he was trying to get air but he was snoring um and so that's the only time but i just thought i would bring that up that's my first talking point johnny how many times have you made somebody pass out i mean jardo's i hope jardo listens to this podcast but i've probably made jardo pass out at least a dozen times because we were oh, in yeah. martial arts club together and we used to roll all the time and jardo I... refuses to tap um <laughs> so he gets to go to sleep um and he's he's very strong Actually. I was worried. I was really worried going yeah. into that because well, I, mean, I was like, there's no way. Like, I'm tapping the quickest anybody's ever tapped ever if he gets my back. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. it's just over. I'm like, okay, I'm done. Like, I'm good. Um, it's but very I don't, true. I don't know how I got around around him like that, but I, yep, never again. <laughs> I uh, I actually was thinking about wrestling because I am proud of my uh, undefeated Orion Wrestling Championship. Um and being like, I want to go back for homecoming and I just want to wrestle people. But then I remembered that I'm like nowhere near as in good of shape as I was back then. Yeah. Um, and then I'm old. Yeah. <laughs> we, like... Yeah. That's, that's something that's really weird is like, we're removed so far from Graceland that we don't know most of the people at Graceland anymore. I know. Like, just, as, just like aside from cross, like a right? few, aside, Staff. yeah, aside from a, a few teachers and whatnot, we uh we don't know anybody and like well there's some of our class or people that we went to school with who have stuck around started working there so we know like you know Brad Benson and and a few other people that work there now but mm-hmm. but uh that's that's a really weird thing to me is like I don't from my Graceland days my college days which I I often think back on fondly I there's nobody there that I know anymore yeah, I, I mean, student wise, like it's, I mean, it's really easy to just get disconnected. I mean, I, I try to like, I send money there every year and try and keep the house like engaged. And it's exciting when they're doing, when they're doing well. And I mean, my little sister went there too, so I still had this bit of a connection in the inside track of what was going on. But um, definitely, I definitely miss miss it as well. It's it's kind of interesting. Like you go there and you're like, oh, I can't wait to be done so I can get out and get a job and like. And then you get a job and I'm just like, God, I just miss the days of like hearing Joe run up and down the halls, just yelling squeet. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Squeet. And like, and eating Let's... with like the same group of guys for every meal, like all the time was just amazing. <laughs> or like video yeah. games and like just, we, I just would hanging walk, out. Yeah. I would walk out into the hallway where it's just, there's nobody else out in the hallway. Everybody's in the room with the doors closed and I would just go food. <laughs> or just scream food, and then everybody would just like, "Huh? You got you gonna go eat? Okay, cool. Let's go." You know, I do miss that. Um, yeah, it was. It was just but, like living with, uh, you know, 
dozens of your closest friends. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It's, it's, it's something I miss, man. And then, uh, doing races up the stairs. It, it's a race. <laughs> and then we would just, you know. Man, that's, that's why we got in such good shape because you're just sprinting up four flights of stairs multiple times a day. They, they were simpler times, Johnny. They were simpler times. Another thing about, um, house meetings. Um, this was the, like my first house meeting as a house president. Okay. I decided to implement a new thing called chicken wing fights. Okay. Oh my God. Chicken wing fights were so deadly. <laughs> oh my God. It was, it was the worst decision I've ever made. Okay. So the, the whole point of chicken wing fights was you're supposed to interlock your fingers and put it behind your neck, you know, and then you hold it on your neck and you do not remove your finger. You do not unhinge your fingers. They are locked. Whatever. And then you can only throw elbows from behind with, with your elbows up behind your head. You can't get a lot of, you know, with, with your hands back like that, you can't get a lot of like, I don't know, yeah, thrust or momentum or torque or anything like that. So it's like, you're not really, it's superficial injuries, you know? And then at the end we're going to be like, oh, well, I guess so-and-so, uh, won or (laughs) so-and-so lost, (laughs) but it was, it was our friend Mark versus our friend Ross. Okay. And Ross and Mark knew the rules that they were supposed to interlock their fingers and not unlock them. But Ross went all rogue and he unlocked his fingers and he threw an elbow and it smacked Mark directly in the nose. And I I was sure his nose was broken. Like the amount of blood that, that came out of his face, I was sure his nose was broken. I'm like, I'm going to get fired so quick from this job. <laughs> It's going to be the only job I've ever gotten fired from, and I'm going to do it in spectacularly fast fashion. But luckily I didn't. But that was, uh, I was thinking about that. I, ta- uh, I was thinking about uh, the old times on on the house, and then when I thought about putting uh, Jordan to sleep, the chicken wing fights also resurfaced. I hadn't yeah, thought that, about that. Yeah, that was a short lived uh, event for sure. I don't, I don't think we did it again. I think it was a one time <laughs> thing. Everyone's face was like <laughs> Ross, <whoa. laughs> Ross Polly, the uh, the und- undisputed chicken wing fight <laughs> champion of all time. Uh, does Ross listen to this podcast? I hope I he does. I hope he does too. Ross, let us know if you listen, bud. Oh, uh, nice. Well, anyway, we're we're creeping up on uh, uh, an hour seventeen minutes, so we are uh, we're in we're in that that sweet spot. I think. Do you have any uh, closing thoughts that you want to give to our listeners to uh, to everybody listening? Uh, no, uh, just glad glad to be uh, to be a part, and and hopefully uh, this audio records, and then I find a way to send you this massive file. Uh, but I'm excited; it's cool, and it's it's great just to get a chance to hang out and chat with you, and then hopefully people still find our our conversations as entertaining as the old ones. I'm sure they will. I'm sure they will. But I mean, with um, stories like chicken wing fighting, like come on, those are those are some top quality chicken wing fighting, and I gave. You know, a lot of people some good McDonald's ideas. It's like, do true. The, do the Johnny Challenge. Get back to us. Let it, let us know what you thought. Hashtag Johnny Challenge. <laughs> uh, send send your pictures in. Uh, show us the before and the after pictures. We're really interested if you you're able to power through it. Um, and you know, we will take into account those U.S. portions. Eh, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Any, Zach, make a note. <laughs> For next next week that we talk about my official retirement from competitive eating. Oh gosh, okay. Because I had uh, a moment where this, like, in the past couple of weeks, where I was like, I just can't. I'm just not where I was anymore, and it was I'm getting old. Moment, you know, you hit thirty and everything just falls apart. Yeah, I've I've made note. It is in Slack. I can I can hear you typing away. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, hey, let's wrap it up, guys. Uh, Thanks, uh, thanks for checking. And thanks for checking back in. Thanks for listening, guys. Um, I want to give a shout out to our sponsor, Audible. Thank you very much, Audible, for sponsoring us. Um, head over to audibletrial.com slash jumbled for your free 30 day trial and free audio book. Uh, we're on all social media at jumbled podcast. Uh, send any emails, related questions, whatever to jumbledpodcast at gmail.com. Uh, we're on iTunes. Head over, rate, and review. Uh, we're on every other podcast platform that you can think of. If if not, if you have any suggestions on where we should be, send those over too. Always looking for new uh, new places to put our name out. So anyway, uh, Johnny, that's it. I'm glad you're here, bud. 
Yeah, me too. Thanks for having me. I'm, I'm looking forward to next week already. All right, cool. All right, well, we'll see you guys next week for another episode of Jumbled, your favorite podcast. Johnny, about what? Nothing. That's it. Everything? <laughs> Everything and nothing at the same time? <laughs> see you guys. <laughs> Bye.